Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. It's that man guy again with another weekly video. Today is going to be my store finds and mail deliveries for the week. Uh, got quite a bit of stuff this week, all from different sources. Uh, made a trip to my local diecast dealer, uh, SC Diecast, or a little over an hour away. Uh, I got a whole case of these uh, green light acrylic display cases that came in. I've been waiting for those to come in for a while. They're on back order. I think it had something to do with the pandemic. Maybe the plant that makes these are was shut down. But this is an uh, interlocking display case. It holds six cars. Uh, I'm not going to open up this or get into it too much uh, because... I've already done a review video on it, and you can find it on my channel. I have a, a, a bunch of different playlists on my channel. If you check out uh, my playlists, uh, there should be one called Storage and Display Case Reviews. And I have a separate video just on these uh, green light acrylic display cases that interlock. Uh, I really like these cases. They're not the most bang for the buck, I think... Uh, Mascar displays beats them uh, on total value, uh, bang for the buck. Uh, speaking of Mascar display cases, I do have a promo code just for my subscribers. So if you are in the market to buy some display cases, just check out the description of the video. And I'll have the information listed in there. Uh, the web address and the promo code and how you can get 15% off any order on mass car displays just for my subscribers uh but now let's start checking out some of the stuff i got this week uh i'll show you some of the other things that i got from sc diecast uh i got some really cool auto world christine cars and if you guys are uh, a regular viewer on my channel you know that i'm a huge uh christine movie fan so i have a big collection of christine stuff and these are really cool. Uh, this is Auto World, so you know that they're a little more premium. Um, and they have some really cool uh, card artwork. So generally, I'm an open collector. I usually like to open everything. I'm a loose collector. But for these particular releases, I don't think I'm going to open them. Uh, maybe I'll check with SC Diecast and see if they have a bunch Maybe I'll just buy a pair of these so then I can open one and keep one carded. Uh, but I really like the card art and it kind of describes, you know, if you just had this car loose and it just looked all dusty and, and charcoal-y, you might not understand why. But, you know, if it has the card art and it shows the picture from the movie when the car was all charred, it makes more sense and then you understand what it's supposed to be. So... This is a Christine Auto World 164 scale die cast, premium series, hobby exclusive, special edition. It says uh, an evil 1958 Plymouth Fury. So I'll just show off some of the card art and I'll try to hold it uh, close to the camera so you can pause it if you want to read uh, the back of the card. It just has uh, pictures from uh, the movie. Uh, screenshots or still shots from the movie itself and then has some pretty cool uh, graphics and verbiage on the card but this is an auto world hobby exclusive Christine and this is like the charred version and uh, I'm gonna keep this one carded I think uh, next up we have uh, the in-process version. Not really sure what this real uh, specific name is. I don't. It doesn't really have a, a specific name on the card. I don't think for the different versions. They both are described as the same. They both say Auto World Christine 164 scale diecast, premium series, hobby exclusive, special edition. An evil 1958 Plymouth Fury on the side right here on the bottom and on the side uh, but this is kind of like an in-process version this is kind of uh, when Arnie was fixing up the car when it was still like in rough shape and he had some spots that were fixed up and some that were still kind of uh, in the process or banged up so uh, another cool version and another cool um, 
movie graphics or card art uh, from the movie that kind of explains, you know, why the car is like half finished. And then I'll give you a little shot of the back of this. I think it has, yeah, it has different, different uh, graphics on the back or card art on the back, card artwork on the back than the charred version. So I'll just try to hold that still so you guys can pause it if you want to read it. Again, if you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend it. It was originally a Stephen King book and then made into a movie. So really excited to get these two. And like I said, I think I'm going to keep these carded for now. Uh, I might get another pair and open them in the future. Uh, I also have um, a playlist on my channel for Christine cars. So you can check out all the different uh, 58 and 57 Plymouth Fury cars that I own. Uh, I collect the Hot Wheels casting and Auto World makes it. Um, Matchbox might make it. Uh, Greenlight makes it. So there's a lot of different manufacturers that make this style uh, car, or this body style. Uh, so you can check out the playlist on my channel. And uh, check out all the different Christine cars that I have in my collection. So check out that Christine playlist. Uh, the rest of the stuff we're going to open in today's video, I'll give you a shot of this car's um, packaging. I think this is an older release. I thought I already had it, but I couldn't seem to find it. This is a, a Dodge A100 van. This is uh, Dusty and Rusty Rusties from the Disney Pixar Cars movie. Uh, we are going to open this, but I'll just show you some of the card artwork in case you're interested in that before we tear it open pretty cool artwork and we'll check out both vehicles but I'm only interested in the van I'll probably resell the other car and then we have uh, these 164 scale uh, race metal uh, diorama figures that I got from eBay. I think you can get them in different colors and stuff. You can see there's some Japanese writing on the back here. It says made in China or I don't know if that's Japanese. Maybe it's Chinese or whatever. I'm not really sure. Kanji of some sort. Asian writing on it. Uh, but yeah, I was waiting for these for a while. Uh, I have a little 164 scale uh, diorama, kind of collecting some stuff. I haven't really finished it, just kind of have a little table set up with some stuff on it. It's not really uh, finished it by any means. I'm just kind of throwing some stuff together, and maybe I'll do a future video on that when it's finished, but I think that's going to be a ways away. So we'll open up that, and then we have these uh, five... Uh, different uh, matchbox Chevy vans I got as a lot purchased from eBay I got a pretty good deal on uh, a couple of these I already have but there are a few in here that I um, don't think I have and one that I have that was in rough shape so we're gonna check those out so just hang tight I'll grab the turntable and we'll start uh, tearing and checking out everything in detail Okay, we'll start off with some of these uh, loose uh, Matchbox Chevy vans that I got from eBay. Uh, purchased them uh, in a lot of five. Five different versions. Uh, I'll have to compare these to the ones that I already have in my collection. Uh, this is one of the ones I believe I already have. So I'll have to compare it to the condition of the one in my uh, uh, jammer case to see which one is in better shape and uh, I'll keep the one that's the best shape and then the, the other one can go in the for sale box or bin so that one's pretty cool but that's one I already have here's another one that I already have um, I'll have to compare the condition and see 
how it looks compared to the one that I have. Uh, silver vampire version or vampire. Pretty cool version. I think uh, all of these are kind of older versions from the 80s maybe. Here's uh, USA 1. Got this one as well. So I'll have to compare. Let's see if this, this one's in better shape or the one I already have. But now for the ones that I really uh, bought it for. I know I have this one, but the one I have is in really rough shape. This uh, Pepsi Challenger version is a little harder to find and usually a little more expensive. Uh, came in a special uh, three-pack that wasn't as common. And uh, you can still find these on eBay, but they go for a little bit more money, especially this... Pepsi Challenger version is pretty, uh, can get up there in price. And this one is pretty close to mint. Um, and I know I already have this one, but the one I have is a little bit rougher shape. So that's one of the reasons why I bought this five pack or uh, lot sale, I should say. Um, this one, I'm not 100% sure if I have this one or not. I do have an STP version, but I think it was a Richard Petty colors uh race version so i'm not sure if i have this son of a gun stp and yellow version and uh all of these are in really nice shape so and i got a really good deal on them actually so i just figure uh it's worth the money to take a chance on it and uh, just to get the the better version of the pepsi challenger so I can upgrade and then I'll just uh, resell the one that's a little rougher shape. So that's it for the Matchbox Chevy Vans. Uh, next up we'll open up this uh, Disney Pixar Cars 2 two car set. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I have this one already. Um, and it's supposed to be... A dusty version so they're not supposed to look clean they're supposed to look all dirty and dusty and I thought I had this one already but uh, you know I looked in my display case or in my jammer and I couldn't seem to find it so but this is uh, Disney Pixar cars and this is a Dodge A100 van And then we have this uh, other car. I'm not too interested in the car, so that one will probably go in the uh, for sale bin. Maybe somebody will snap it up at the next uh, local diecast meet. Kind of a cute little car. And then last but not least, we'll check out these uh, race metal figures, 164 scale. I'm not sure how well uh, they will show up on camera because they are pretty small. I think there's two different layers of plastic here maybe, yep. Yeah. So I think these are just going to fall out. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure how easily they'll stand up. Probably need to glue like some sort of a little base on them. Comes with like a cameraman. With a camera. And like three different uh, race car drivers. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> so I'll just have to try to show them to you. 
Here's a driver holding up a trophy. Here's one uh, with some champagne. And here's one just uh, chilling, holding his helmet. So yeah, these are probably going to need like a little clear base. Uh, here's the cameraman dude. These are probably going to need like a little... And here's the uh, TV camera. At least that's got some some legs on it, so that might stand. But yeah, just some uh, 164 scale uh, diorama figures. Okay, guys, here's everything from today's video. Uh, make sure you check out all the playlists on my YouTube channel. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of different playlists, different uh, brand casting spotlights, uh, review videos on diorama pieces and display cases, uh, some larger scale die cast playlists, and also uh, Christine Carr playlists. So make sure you check out all those playlists. Um, also check out the description of this video if you're looking for a discount on some display cases for, uh, and a promo code just for my subscribers for mass car displays. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up for today's video if you enjoyed it and found it informational. Don't forget to subscribe. Also check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy. And check me out on Instagram. I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.